Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a quick front pad swap on a Chevrolet Traverse, GMC Acadia, or Buick Enclave. But before we do that, I'm going to start with saying the most important part of the vehicle is the brakes. It doesn't matter how fast you can go if you can't stop. So disclaimer right now, the last thing you do in this job before cranking the vehicle, before doing anything, anytime you work with brakes, you always pump the brakes before you crank the car. I recommend putting the keys away from the car so when you get in it and you don't have the key, it reminds you to pump the brakes. It's very important to pump the brakes before you try to drive the vehicle after doing anything with the brakes. All right, on the front, the first thing we're gonna do is go to this 13 millimeter bolt right here, and we're gonna go ahead and loosen it. Now, before we get started, I'd like to say, I normally don't just do quick pad swap jobs. I like to replace the hardware, true the rotors, and everything else, but the customer didn't want that. All they wanted was a quick pad swap, bought the brake pads to do a quick uh, pad swap, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, what we're gonna do, take this 13, we're gonna go ahead and take it loose, take it out. From there, we're gonna separate the brake pads from the caliper. We're gonna take a flat tip screwdriver, stick in here, and we're just gonna pry just a little bit. And what that'll do is it'll separate them and you can lift up on the caliper to take it away from the pads. Next, let's go ahead and take the pads off of the, uh, the bracket here. All you gotta do, slip them right out. Now, if you've been driving, these things will be very hot. These are very hot, but just be very careful, and this caliper can burn you seriously. It's very hot if you've been driving. So just be very careful or let the car sit for a while before you do this. Next, what we gotta do is we gotta get these pistons back in the caliper. They actually make a tool for doing this. You can use a C-clamp or you can get this tool. This tool makes it so much easier. I've used this tool so much that it slips a lot. So it might not look like uh, I need to go ahead and it's got a warranty. I need to go ahead and swap it out. But you just pump it until that caliper pushes in. Like I said, this one's kind of worn. I've done so many brake jobs that it, uh, it takes a lot. I actually went today to get it warrantied out, but they didn't have one in the store. They had to order it. The nice thing is Lyle's comes with a lifetime warranty. All right, once you got it all the way in, I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, this could be hot. Just roll this back into place, this little boot. It'll pop right in. Don't want to cut that boot. Okay, when you look at your pads, you'll notice that one of them has an extra little bracket. That's actually a wear indicator. It'll cause the, uh, this little piece of metal here to rub on your caliper when it gets closer and cause a squeal. And this way, you'll know to go ahead and change them. The one with the bracket goes on the rear towards the top. You just slide it into the bottom bracket, slide it in, and pull it close. Do the same thing for the other uh, brake pad. Slide it in the bottom. Stick it in there, just like that. Like I said, I do recommend replacing these pieces of metal. They're the hardware kits for them. Uh, they're just extra retainers and silencers. Keeps it from making noise, keeps it in the, uh, the caliper bracket better. But most of your pads don't come with them unless they're a, a, an OEM or a, an expensive quality pad. Uh, you can also put silicone on the mating surfaces and across the top and across the bottom. I don't like to do that with old, uh, uh, with old hardware because sometimes it just makes a dirty mess. So I'm gonna leave it off, just go ahead and install them. But like I said, if you replace them, I do recommend putting the silicone on them. Now that the pads are on, we're just gonna take the caliper and we're gonna slide it down, slide it in all the way back until it's down. 
Going to go ahead and take our bolt, go ahead and start it. Go ahead and tighten it down. Just like that. And you are almost done. What did I tell you to do? Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes, pump the brakes, pump the brakes. I can't stress that enough. It's the most important part of this job. Even before putting the pads, taking anything off, whatever you do, if you do anything, please pump those brakes before you go to drive. I don't want you to get in an accident and I don't want you to get hurt. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Now I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna ask you to like my video or subscribe to my channel. I'm the kind of guy that's gonna beg you to do it. Click one of these other videos, subscribe to my channel. It's on one of these sides, do them both, do them all, please.